Okay, sorry about the poor lighting, but um, I'm not supposed to use artificial light right now. Um, I'm also wearing headphones because I have to focus on my own voice. Maybe I won't hear them this way. Uh, uh, anyway, if you know this channel, you probably know me as the quirky glowworm guy, and I already made a video about my history with glowworms. But um, something does not add, add up at all, and um, whenever I try to think about it, I I get distracted and and uh, and, and and I can't focus on it, and so. But now I think I have a lucid moment and I can almost remember what happened and what, what's going on. But I think if I maybe if I record it this will help me to focus and to think about it and remember. So I have been keeping glowworms since the year two thousand and four. A species from a from a Mediterranean island, and it almost looks like the common European glowworm, but the larvae have uh, they have oh fang-like markings on on their pronotum. Um, yes, and uh, I have been keeping them all these years. I brought them with me from that island. It was in 2004 when I was there with a field trip from my university and well I found a few specimens of this glowworm species. There was just one male among them and until a few few months or years ago I never thought about that also the female is just the same the, the, the female that all of the glowworms that I have are descended from and I I cannot clearly remember where I got it it was a mountain but whenever I try to think about it my 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 notes from the field trip they are inconclusive things scratched out and arrows pointing nowhere and the pictures the the, the pictures that i took with my digital camera there there was some kind of glitch i cannot reconstruct the, the date of the when we were at at certain sites because the camera just glitched out and the, the date imprint, it went back to factory default. I cannot reconstruct it this way. But but I'm I'm fairly certain now. Um there there were two mountains that we visited and um I even I even had the approximate coordinates where the female was found and I, I sent it to a professor for a recording and along with some specimens but I I just wrote it on a piece of paper and sent it by mail I cannot I cannot find the, the coordinates but I'm fairly certain now after going through all my records that it has to be Pera Eliana um, and in the local folklore it is said that this is the site, a site where, where demons are supposedly uh, roaming around and they are supposed to be a gate to hell. Yeah, it sounds corny, but I, I, I cannot clearly remember what happened. I, I remember climbing a rock face. I'm not sure if it was down or up maybe down and but but I was watched I was watched yes and later on I ran 
down that mountain and and I was in a state of weird euphoria. I, 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 I'm not an emotional person at all, I don't get it. And they, they, they were singing, singing about me. I, I'm not sure if it, it was praise or mockery, but... And uh, that's where, where the female is originating from. There were other offspring of the glowworms, but only of those female were the ones that I kept all these years. And I did not only keep them, I, I, I gave them away to, to people that wanted to have some glowworms. Oh, it's nice, I'm really interested in that. And yes, uh, sure, you can have some. And I, I spread them around and I, I, I felt compelled to, to, to have, have a kind of human connection to like-minded individuals. But th they stopped, they stopped, uh, The correspondence just stopped. A few, a few of them told me that that they left the the, the enclosures open. Uh, or I, I don't know, as if they were compelled to do that. Uh, but correspondence just stopped with all these people, and I sent them. Well, I sent them away to this professor, who was just collecting samples. That was in 2008, I think. And, and there were other other scientists that I sent some specimens for genetic genetic research. And well, one of them told me they they almost have the result results, and they would send them to me. But again, radio silence. Nothing heard of them again. And I, I don't know the time. It's it's been almost two decades now, and it feels, at the same time, like it was thousands of years ago in mythological past, or just last week. It doesn't make any sense. It, I feel like, in in my waking life, it, it feels like being in an empty train coach at night. The lights are on and I cannot see anything outside, just my own reflection. And I'm losing all sense of direction, acceleration, time. It, nothing of this makes any sense. And all I know is this train just keeps moving inexorably towards an unknown destination. And I, I'm not sure what, what's going to Well, uh, how I, how did I start remembering? Yes, I heard about um, in the in the folklore of of a group in Africa. I think the Iwi, Iwi. I'm not sure. Um, there's a, a mythological being, uh, the Atsi, and it's vaguely reminiscent of European vampire legend, but not quite. It it sucks blood, it feeds on blood, but it um, takes the form of a firefly and is capable of possessing people. And those people, in their immediate environment, they, they spread misery and disease and That's that's how oh, this past de decades, I think, around me, my immediate environment, I, I can see that. I can see the world around me, immediately around me, drifting into just disarray, rot, decay. While I, I just, I'm just growing stronger. I mean, physically, uh, uh, but at the same time, my body is changing in, in, in the other direction I'm I'm losing my hair and and my teeth my teeth keep keep shattering and shipping and the, the dentist they, it doesn't it doesn't work for long and and yeah my eyes my, my eyes get are getting worse but I but I have the feeling that wherever I'm heading 
I won't be needing them much to see. And well, when we when we are in the woods at night, we barely rely on them anyway. Yeah. Well, I I in this past decades I was I was I was in Africa, but not in Togo or Ghana, where this folklore is is to be found. But but it was in Kenya, and I remember I remember running after fireflies at night, and I remember armed guards, armed guards, and a sense of a sense of expansion and contraction. And, and and I also returned to that island in, in the Mediterranean Sea a few years later, but I, I can't rem remember that there was, I didn't bring anything with me from there, I think, again, but, and, and, I, and I took photos, but I deleted them myself, I, I was just uh, reconfiguring my computer and I just deleted them without uh, taking any backups, or I, I was just convinced I had backups, but I, th there were no backups. It's all gone. It's all gone. Uh, my dreams, they, they make sense, at least in the dream. In my dreams, I'm doing horrible things. We're doing horrible, horrible, wonderful things. And and recently the dreams they, they seem to they seem to bleed into reality when I'm when I'm drifting off. I it's just like an overlay. Same space but two two things overlapping and they make total sense in that moment what I'm seeing there. But when I'm awake, fully awake again, I cannot reconstruct what I saw. It's as if, as if the, the barriers are growing thin, but then it stops for a moment. I think I must be quick now. I can feel my mind already slipping away. And I have something important that I should tell. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I, I never meant to do any harm, but I, but I think whatever is affecting me, I have spread it. And I, it, I brought something ancient with me. I, and I, it's too late. It's, it's too late for, for me at last. Uh, at least I'm already too far gone but i'm sorry I, i know it's too late but there are things moving into place i can feel it and i don't know if there's some kind of cataclysmic event happening going to happen or if it's just a slow change but there's something happening there are there There's an invasive species of firefly from Mexico that is moving through the cornfields of Spain and France. I think, I feel that this is somehow connected. And I'm sorry, but all I can say is don't follow the lights. Don't follow the lights.
Happy Halloween.